previously on Home and Away. Well, you okay? What happened? Well, we took pictures of him removing drums, but they must have seen us. I got away with Murray. I don't know. Where, where is he? Where's Murray? I don't know, but he's got my camera. You okay? What happened? I'm so scared. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm here now. Get you some to eat or some water or something? No, I'm fine. I'm just glad you're here. Hey, I wouldn't be anywhere else, okay? Sorry, I'm still just. God, I have no idea where Murray is or those photos. I mean, that, that those photos were going to expose the developers. I had them right in my camera. They were right in my hand. I was hey, so close. You need to rest, okay? You had enough for one night. It's not the only reason I'm wound up. I know. I have to tell Angelo it's over. It is just, it's so unfair using him and then coming back to you. So, when are you thinking of telling him? Tomorrow. He's gonna be out for my blood. I, no, he won't. I don't plan on telling him about us. Great. We more sneaking around. But if it, if it stops Angelo from being more humiliated, knowing that I was cheating on him, I think we can deal with that. Okay, it's your call. Thank you. So, am um, I staying, or...? I should say no. I really need you right now. Today is finding Murray Buchanan then. Good luck with that. He knows we're on to him and that we know about the payoff. He's probably taken another cash hand out for the photos and shot through. Maybe, but he's still our best bet. Look, go home, get some rest. Hopefully by the time Jack comes in this afternoon, we'll have a warrant to search the site. Look, I can stay and console if you need me to. I mean, these reports are only half done. Most of it's still up here. I was a bit distracted. Look, you're dead on your feet, so go. We'll call you if we need to. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, just knack it, that's all. I knew you couldn't trust that black. I'm still not sure about that. I just, I wish I'd have got my camera before I ran. That way I wouldn't care either way. Well, love, if the bloke was double-crossing you, you're damn lucky he didn't do worse than steal your camera. No, Murray's not the violent type. I'm still hoping he'll show up. <laughs> yeah, right, pigs might fly. So, love... This cancer business, is this what you couldn't tell me about last week? Yeah, and you can't pass it on yet. Oh, love, please. That's the kind of bad news you don't want to be spreading around. You know, and I think of Martha and Colleen, even Kane. And you wonder if the suffering they went through couldn't be avoided. Fair income, it makes my blood boil. Yeah, that's why I wish I hadn't stuffed up so much. Oh, love, come on. You did the very best you could. Thank God Angelo was looking out for you. Otherwise things could have got a lot nastier. So what's he supposed to have done, anyway? We're not sure he's done anything yet, but we need to talk to him about a few things. Don't tell me there's actually something to Bell's campaign. It's looking more and more like there could be. Are you kidding? So they're going to have to stop work on the apartment complex? Could be a lot more serious than just stopping work on the building. It's possible there's a wider health issue. What do you mean? I know I can trust you to keep this to yourself. There's a chance that something toxic in the landfill could be linked to cancer cases in this area. What are we talking about Martha here? Martha, and maybe a dozen other cases that need to be reviewed and confirmed. Oh! Look what's going Colleen, on. wait! It's terrible! Colleen, don't Have you say heard? Anything. Heard what? We're living on a nest of poison, we're all gonna die! She didn't really say that, did she? Yeah, I mean, Charlie tried to stop her, but you know what Colleen's like when she has something in her head. Hey, where are you going? I have to go. What do you mean? Just go Someone has to talk to Martha before Colleen does. Uh, hang on a sec. Are you saying there's some kind of truth in this? I can't explain now. I'll fill you in later, all right? Well, it's a travesty. That's what it is. Is this true what Colleen's been telling us? 
I don't know what's been said, but I'm here to warn you not to listen to rumours that there is a cancer cluster because there is no proof. The Constable Buckton said yet. There is no proof yet. You mean there's an official inquiry going on? As far as I know, no one has made a report with the health department and there has been no official request for medical records from the hospital. As I said, worrying here would just be premature at this stage. Well, not if you're living next door. Colleen, we all live near it. Let's just calm down. If you go spreading this news, people are only going to panic. And just think of the effect it will have on people who are actually fighting cancer. Oh, I won't be quiet. I say people have got a right to know. I'm with Colleen on this one. Hey. You tech surprised me. I thought you'd be sleeping. You're the one we need to be worried about. Did you sleep okay? You were pretty worked up last night. Actually, I didn't sleep very well at all. I, I had a lot on my mind. Really? What were you thinking about? How do you think things have been going between us? Well, it's been a bit full on the last few weeks, but nothing's changed for me. Why? I, I just I feel like I've been pulling away from you and I'm not sure. Not sure of what? That I'm here for you? No. That I'm here for you. What are you saying? The last thing I want to do is hurt you. You've been so good to me. Perfect, really. I'm, I'm just not sure this relationship's going to work. I don't understand. God, why is this hard to say? Angel, I think we need to break up. God, I'm so sorry. This is... This has nothing to do with you. This is all my fault. Finally. I'm carrying my hair out going through these reports he wrote last night. Yeah, well, there was a lot to cover. There, there are so many gaps in this report on the development side. Like I told Charlie this morning... You're still working on it, I heard. Did it occur to you that I might have wanted to know about this before now? I mean, in case it slipped your mind, my wife's going through hell with cancer at the moment. Look, until last night, I didn't think there was enough in it to pursue. Fitzy already knocked me back on a request I made to subpoena the medical records. Look, because of what Martha is going through, I didn't want to say anything until I was 100% sure of my facts. Okay? OK, I can accept that. But you can't hand in a file on this state. I mean, how are we expected to follow it up? Jack, that's enough. <clears throat> Look, I just got the green light to search the construction site. But I won't, so let's get out there. Sorry he called you in, OK? Go home, get some sleep. Hi, it's Constable Angelo Rosetta here from the Abbey Creek Police Station. I need to request some phone records. It's pretty urgent. That's pretty much the full tour. Like I said, we've got nothing to hide. What's going on over here? Nothing. That's not even part of the actual building site. Why well, is the soil freshly dug up? We were working here last night. Yeah, we were doing some work in here yesterday. This area is an old landfill. You know, construction materials, general waste. We got rid of some of it so we can landscape. Landscape? That's right, we're putting in gardens around here. Bush regeneration, around the perimeter. Do you know this man? Sure, he's one of the greenie protesters. Murray, right? When did you last see him? I think he saw the light. Lost interest in the protest since we got building approval. You mean after you guys gave him shut up money? Jack. How much did you give him for the photos? 